Hi everyone, welcome back. Um, I've been off for a week because I was doing some work and traveling, but I am back today with a review over a bag that I've now used fairly like a good amount. And it's gonna be this one right here, which is the Tabby Messenger bag in the color ivory with silver hardware, which I think is a really beautiful combo. Um, I'm just gonna talk to you guys about the details of the bag and then show you what fits in here as well. Some comparisons with the other Tabby Messenger bags and then just what my thoughts are on the bag itself. So if you're interested in today's video over this bag, please do stay tuned. And just for full disclosure, I do currently work for Coach as a sales associate. However, all the bags on my channel are for my own personal collection, and I'm just here to share with you guys with my personal love for handbags. And if you do like these kind of videos, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram as well for more handbag-related content. So when it comes to the Tabby Messenger bag, as you can see, it is a very um, sleek and minimal handbag. This handbag does not feature a lot of hardware at all, which I think is a really refreshing take um, for Coach handbags. I feel like a lot of times Coach can do a lot of heavy hardware, such as like border rivets or like bag chains, but this bag is really simple, really minimal. It focuses on the glove tan leather and highlights the smaller details that this bag features. So on the front here, you'll notice that it has the wonderful um, tabby seal lock closure. And this one is a little unique just because it does have the um, leather cover detailing on it. And what's really cool is, I don't know if the camera's able to pick it up, but um, because of this detailing, it does highlight the silver hardware that is around the seat, which I think is really cool. On the back of the bag, it does have a pocket. And what's wonderful is that it is a magnetic pocket. So every time you open and close the pocket, it just finds itself and you'll really hear um, the satisfying clicking sound that it makes, which I think is nice. On the sides, there's not a lot of detailing. In fact, there is um, like zero hardware on the side. And on the side here, you do have a small D ring, which is where the hang tag is going to be located. And it is going to be um, embossed with Coach New York on one side and blank on the other. So if you did want to monogram this hang tag, you totally can. On the bottom of the bag, it does say genuine gloved hand leather, which is embossed here on the bottom with silver um, foil. So it does tie in with the silver hardware on the bag, which I think is really cool. And another wonderful detail about this bag too, is that it does feature um, one of Coach's classic signature designs, which is the leather binding detail. So it wraps around the front of the bag to the back, which I think is really cool. Um, it's really seamless. And in fact, there is just a little leather piece here that closes off that binding detail but it's one continuous piece of leather that goes from one start up the back to the flap here and then um here as well it actually isn't continuous i lied it goes like around here um but it is very seamless because of that and then it goes wrap around the back too which i think is a cool detail when it comes to the crossbody strap here, the strap is going to be permanently attached onto the bag. So as you can see on the sides here is a part of the handbag. It is not removable at all. So if that is one of your handbag requirements that you do want a removable bag strap, this bag is just not gonna be for you. As you can see here, the design of the shoulder strap or crossbody strap is permanently affixed onto the bag. So it is just a part of that design. Um, but however, what is really nice is that you are able to adjust this bag strap so you are able to make it longer or shorter to desired length and it's a really substantial bag strap as well so it is super comfortable carrying over the shoulder and crossbody it has um five adjustments here that are pretty generous so they're about i want to say two inches apart so you definitely make it longer or shorter and they have metal grommets too which i think gives it that extra little bit of detailing and it has a really chunky silver buckle which i think is really pretty Getting into the inside of the bag, so this bag here is not magnetic like most tabby bags. It does have a little click button here, so you click it to release the flap. And on the inside is lined in microfiber material and it is in the honey color, which Coach is really known for. It has a zip pocket here that has a little bit of leather detailing. You have your story patch underneath that zipper pocket. And the zip pocket is actually lined in fabric. You have a slip pocket as well that has a little press stud closure and you'll see the majority of that interior is lined in microfiber. Another great thing too about this bag is that when it comes to the organizational aspect, you do have a little pocket and it is a press stud closure with a little leather piece over that button. So you can open and close that, which I think is really cool. And on this side here, you'll notice that it has the little 1941 stamp um, with the cowhide stamp and then like the little X that says 1941. 
and this pocket is gusseted so when you do have your items in there it does expand a little bit which I think is great and then it features leather binding around the pocket as well which I think is really cool and here's what it looks like in the inside the pocket being lined again in the same microfiber as the um body of the bag or the interior I should say so now I'm going to show you guys everything that I typically carry with me when I'm using this bag here. Um, and here's just a couple of items. So first is going to be this cute little pouch. This is the Coach Saddle Pouch um, in this like chambray material. This is easily like four years old now, but I just love it so much because it has the denim material and it is like color block too with all these fun colors that give it kind of like a retro feel, which I think is super cute. And then it has a little clip too that is removable. So there's that. Um, I usually put my headphones in here, but I didn't mention that. Next is going to be a chapstick and this is just from Dior. Then I have a little cosmetic case from Kate Spade. This is from their travel collection a couple years ago. And it has a really durable black nylon. And this is one of my favorite pouches and organizers just because it's super small and compact. And because of its cube design, it actually fits in handbags relatively easily. So I do like that a lot. Next are going to be my keys. Then I have a little coin pouch from Coach. This is the medium pouch, I believe is what it's called in like a cross grain texture and it is in this purple color which is really fun and vibrant and again silver hardware to tie in with the bag and then I have my demonstration film this is the current size of my phone that I'm filming with right now it is an iPhone XR which I used for the longest time um so this is pretty proportional to my current phone for demonstration and then finally I have this cute little wristlet this is from coach again and it's like I believe the color is confetti pink or candy no this is confetti pink it's confetti pink with brass hardware and this usually holds um some of my smaller items receipts and stuff things I just don't want like floating around my bag so I'll use this and the actual final thing is my wallet this is the coach zip card case and like cross grain and I did get this one customized with this cute little pin on it I believe this is a sheath if I'm not mistaken and I got this done um, over the weekend when I was in Chicago for a work trip they have a new store um, the mile and it's called I believe it's like the 444 um, it's the coach Chicago Play store it's a really fun beautiful pink store it has a lot of cool features in it and one of the um, features is the coach crate or the craftsmanship bar and I did get a little card case in this um, fun like I don't know like texture cross grain and it has um, a little sheep on it that I got done there so super cute so now I'm going to show you guys everything I'm able to fit inside of the tabby messenger bag and I will say with the table set up it is really easy to show you guys how I pack the bag so back here I'll go ahead and put my phone in and um this is just that iPhone XR so I'm able to fit it back here and still close it with the magnet and then on the inside of the bag I'll go ahead and do the coach um pouch the Kate Spade nylon cosmetic case, the coach key pouch, and then I'll do the little saddle charm, and then I'll do the keys. I think the chapstick already have it here because I already filmed this part like three times. Um, so the chapstick and the keys, and then in this front pocket, I'm able to fit in the wallet, which is really convenient. Um, because this pocket is gusseted, it is able to help expand the pocket and like mold around the items a little better, which is nice. And then able to snap it closed as well, which is really convenient. And then here is what the bag looks like when it's closed. Um, it definitely will fit a lot better if I organized it a little bit better, but here is what it looks like. And as you can see, there's not really a lot of warping or distortion, which is really nice. Um, and then I actually still have room to maybe set like my glasses case or something else on top as well. So there's that. So before I tell you guys what my final thoughts are on the Tabby Messenger bag and Ivory, I did want to do a quick comparison between these three bags. So the first one here is the Tabby Messenger 40 in the denim. The Ivory here is in the middle. And lastly is going to be the Tabby Messenger 19 in the color natural. And I will say when you're watching this review and you're looking at the items I'm putting in here and showing the features, if this bag ends up being like too small for you, like for your daily needs, you carry a larger wallet with you, a water bottle, maybe 
um, a tech item like a small laptop or a tablet, then I would say maybe size up to the Tabby Messenger 40, just because this bag has ample amount of space in comparison to this one. Um, and then if you're watching this review and you're seeing like, oh my gosh, this is like way too much stuff that he's putting in here, maybe go ahead and size down to the smaller size if you're somebody who doesn't carry a ton with you on a daily basis. Um, and you're carrying, you know, the more minimalistic items, just like card case, chapstick, and keys, then this bag will be perfect for you. So I just want to do a quick comparison between these three bags if you're just curious to see what the size difference are and what the capacity limits are. So my final thoughts on the Tabby Messenger bag is that I really like this bag a lot and I think the thing that I love the most about this particular bag is just the size and overall style of this purse. Um, it's not too big and it's not too small. In my eyes it's very proportional to a Rogue 25 which is my favorite silhouette from Coach and I actually should do a quick comparison. So after this rant I will do a little comparison with the Rogue 25. Um, this bag is very proportional to that which I really like. Um, I also really love the overall styling of this bag too. It's very minimal, doesn't have a lot of hardware, like not a ton of bells and whistles either. It's really focused on the design, really focused on the leather quality, which I really like. Um, this is a really great glove tan. It's not super soft and supple, but it does give a little bit and it has structure too. So I do like the fact that um, this bag does hold its shape and I think it looks really great. I love the ivory with the silver hardware. I think it is a really fun contrast um, to have the silver hardware. I felt like if Coach did the ivory and brass, it'd be a very predictable choice, but I think the silver um, really brightens the bag, I guess, a little bit because it's not that more brush gold. Um, so yeah, I do love this a lot. When it comes to the overall wear and tear of the bag, I haven't seen any yet. And I did pack this bag in my hand luggage and I just simply put a sweater inside to help support the shape and structure of the bag. And then I just put it in the dust bag. But so far I don't have any wear on this leather buckle right here. And then I don't have any creasing either on this bag straps, which I think is really nice. Um, I did feel like there would be a lot of creasing with how this um, strap is designed. But as you can see, I don't have a lot and I just have the bag strap thrown precariously when I do put it away. So it sometimes just lays like this or it just lays like that. Um, I do not tuck the bag strap inside of the bag just because I feel like that does um, I don't know, like, I don't think it's going to put, like, any weird dents or marks in the bag, but I just don't like putting this bag strap in the bag. Like, if I do put it away, I just put it in the dust bag and coil it like this. I feel like this looks more neat and helps the bag strap not look, I don't know, like, creased, um, versus, you know, just folding the bag strap in and tucking it in. I don't like that, so I personally do put it away sometimes like this and just display it like this as well. Um, the other thing too is that I don't have any marks or color transfer on the back and this is a light color handbag as well so I do wear a ton of jeans and I did get a pair of brand new jeans as well from Target and I don't have any color transfer or denim transfer on this bag which is great. Um, and I will say the jeans I did get were a very light wash however um, still there's no denim transfer or color on the back of the bag. And then before I end the video, I'm going to do a quick side-by-side -side comparison with the Rogue 25. So here is the Tabby Messenger bag, and here is the Rogue 25. And as you see, the proportions of this bag are very similar to each other. The obvious difference is, is that this is more of a saddle bag, and this is more of a top handle satchel. It has three compartments versus the one main compartment, then the extra little pockets. Um, this bag also is a little wider as well when it comes to the Rogue 25 and it doesn't taper inwards. The messenger bag you'll notice will taper a little bit here from the base to the top. Um, but other than that, I will say they're pretty similar in size and proportion. However, if you are thinking about capacity, ultimately the Rogue 25 does hold a little bit more in comparison to the Tiny Messenger. So hopefully that was a quick little helpful snippet. So that's it for today's video over the Tabby Messenger bag in the color ivory with silver hardware. Hopefully you found this video helpful if you were wanting to know more about the bag. Um, but if you did find it helpful, please do consider liking and subscribing. And you can also follow me on Instagram and TikTok as well for more handbag related content. Um, but other than that, guys, have a great rest of your day. Bye!